Christmas Day. Yeah, I mean, the obvious thing is just don't do too much, isn't it, really? Yeah, do a bit of prep, and, uh, and you can all have a bit of fun doing the prep. We have fun, we have fun. And it's back to work the next day with a sore head, so. So, I thought about just, if we cook some sprouts off with a bit of bacon. Jamie, have you got some of that nice bacon I can have a bit, Chief? So I thought on sprouts, instead of pre-cooking them, I would just finally, finally uh, shred them up. And I got a bit of shallot and garlic. So in this pan uh, here, I put a little bit of duck fat in there. So I'm just gonna cook a bit of duck fat, because you know, I've got it. I mean, you can get duck fat anyway. Yeah, I think so, yeah, definitely. Yeah. And I'm going to serve a duck egg with it as well. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to have a bit of bacon. This is, version, this is, well, to make up for the fact that turkey is obviously a very healthy, uh, cheers, Jamie, uh, is very healthy because uh, it's very low in fat, we might as well add a little bit of fat into it. Yeah, Because obviously it's all about indulgence, it's Christmas yeah, Day, isn't it? Yeah. But this is, I think this is a nice sort of alternative for, uh, for Boxing Day or something like that. Yeah. But then, this is a great dish. I mean, you know, this is, okay, we're using turkey today, but in all fairness, you could use, uh, this is a good dish for um, any time, you know, but I would use chicken. Yeah. And we have on the menu, we have chicken breast, uh, ch chicken breast Holstein. So the bacon, this is some smoked, locally cured and smoked bacon. Well, I get a dry cure that's, I mean, the mass produced bacon is just full of water, isn't it, really? And it's, yeah, yeah. it's not, it's not great. So this will impart some flavour into that. So we add this. I won't add the garlic till towards the end. You could put a little bit of chilli in it if you like a bit of heat in it. Yeah. It's like, you know, at the end of the day, this is the whole point of this. You know, we can, people can see what we're doing as we're doing it. Yeah. But, you know, there isn't really a recipe. You know, it's just put as much in as you want or as, or as little of anything. The great thing about sort of more artisan bacon is you get a lovely fat and the fat's, you know, it's, it's cured. Really but that's, it, it's very creamy and that's... Uh, well, I don't know whether people realise this or not, but the majority of the flavour of most meats is in the fat anyway. Yeah, exactly. So, I think uh, people, are, they want more, you know, provenance, don't they? They want to yeah. know where everything's coming from. People are far more aware nowadays, aren't they? And I think there's more flavour in it. Whether it's psychosomatic, whether the, the animal's more relaxed, it's a part of the whole thing, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. An animal goes very tense and it goes to the slaughterhouse, it's had a tense, rubbishy life, it's going to, the meat's going to be tense and rubbishy. I mean... At the end of the day, it comes down to, we are what we eat, yeah. at the end of the day. So I put some garlic, oh, I have lots of garlic in it. I like garlic, that's lovely. <laughs> Keeps unwanted guests away. So that, while that's cooking now, we put the, uh, I've got a little bit of oil and butter in this pan here. And um, we'll put the turkey on. Put that at the back. So I put a bit of salt in there. I'm not a massive fan of pepper, to be honest with you. Pepper just adds heat, to be honest with you. Yeah. You know? Well, yeah, that's the thing. Salt's a flavour enhancer. Yeah. Until you add too much of it, then yeah. something tastes salty. Yeah. Um, but there's a fine line between, you know, what, you know, what's what. Right, so what else we need to quickly breadcrumb our turkey. So we've got flour, egg and breadcrumb. So I'll just do one of these now. So just flour it, shake off the excess, like so. I do, well, we might as well do it all. It takes two seconds. Huh? And this is simply how you just, how you, just you know, breadcrumb something. It's, uh, yeah. And the breadcrumbs, you could use fresh bread. We just use uh, dried, dried breadcrumbs that we, we do ourselves. Yeah. Sort of a couple of days old. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you know, it's just once, once it's dry. You could do fresh ones as well if you wanted to. You can, you, can, you can buy breadcrumbs, can't you? Which yeah, is, yeah. Which is a bit, you know. It's silly, really. <laughs> yeah. Bread knocking around, it? And once, um, just get all the excess off the, uh, off there like the so. And you can also get those Japanese breadcrumbs. It's, pan it's panko, isn't it? Panko, yeah. It's sort of what you get on like the, um, that's what they have on the, uh, uh, you know, when you buy the spring, you know, the, the king prawns, you know, fried king prawns and things. Yeah. Those sort of crispier ones. Really they are, they're, well, they're bread flakes, aren't yeah, they? Okay, so that's nearly ready now. You can see that. Leave that chicken over. That back on the heat.
give me a little shake. Like so. And this really isn't going to take long to cook at all. I mean, it's just a, uh, it's thin, you know, I battered it out as you saw earlier. Yeah. That's the provenance of the meat, you can actually cook it a little bit less as well, can you? I think so. I mean, I like, um, yeah, I've got a duck egg here, local duck egg from across the road and a little bit of a uh, duck fat. That's lovely, that. I mean, quality bacon, smoked bacon sign. Yeah. I think that's what people plan on them, isn't it? Yeah. The retailers, I think they plan on people just pushing the boat out a little bit more. Yeah, definitely. And you'll see a little bit rarer stuff in, uh, in your supermarkets and your militants, yeah? And, you know, and it, <laughs> I, remember, I remember last year going to, the, uh, I think it was one of the... Uh, Waitrose and, and Abergavenny, and it was the day before Christmas, and I actually didn't go there to get and get anything. I went there just to see, because it is a laugh. Doing yeah. there's people like you know, you think that the, the three minute warning had just been given or something. Like <laughs> I remember seeing this guy, and he just had loads of stuff in this basket. And it was like peppers, asparagus, and I thought, what really? You're just setting yourself up for a bit of a headache tomorrow. I just I couldn't imagine what he was going to be doing with it all. Do you mean? I was like, what are you doing? I mean, well, I mean, you know, bloody asparagus and things. So just turn them over. There. So it's nicely coloured there. So we put that on the plate. So it really is as quick as that. Yeah. So you serve, well, I'm just going to serve the turkey on top of that. That's the way you serve it. Beautiful. And you know, this is nice and moist. I mean, there's, there's no, you could make a little bit of a sauce to go with it. Yeah. I might just do a, well, put, I mean, you can have as much or as little as you want. I mean, I you put all of that on there. For people who don't really think they like sprouts. Oh, it's lovely though. Like little mini cabbages, obviously. Yeah. But that, that there would just be nice with a fried egg on it. Yeah. Yeah. I won't put it under the grill because it's not on. <laughs> I'll put it in the oven. <coughs> yeah. I think what I'll do before I... I'll just slice that so you can see... So you can see how long I mean, yeah. perfectly cut. So that's the, the pan just from the. If I just put a little bit of butter in there. And I've got this sage. Sage, and I'll tell you what I like capers, one of my favorites. Yeah, beautiful. A little bit of salt. I mean, you know, I could choose anything from pesto, salsa verde, anything like that. But I mean, yeah, yeah. Brown butter's got a lovely. I'd be very happy if someone put that in front of me, and I said, "I mean, you cut through, you cut through the yolk, and it just goes all through it." And yeah, that's like the perfect Boxing Day meal, but even as an alternative for a Christmas dinner. Yeah, it's that's more, it's more, it's comfort food, isn't it? it is you know, real comfort. things with any of the breadcrumbs on and, and eggs and things, it's comfort. It's nice. Yeah. 